Hello folks, this is Atila Fasina and we are now on the second video of Scope Leak. So our goal for today is to have a service that's going to fetch all the repositories of a certain user, it's going to cache it for at least one day and it's going to return to us all the relevant, all the information that we want from that repository. So in order to start, we need to install a couple of dependencies. Now node with the types and what we need to run the server. Node fetch is a polyfill to run a uh, fetch API inside Node.js and the types of the GitHub API. And this is the, the URL. And of course we need to replace username key with our actual username that we want. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn this into an arrow function. It's going to receive the user as a string and it's going to return as a string in the end. So now let's use all those dependencies that we have added. Now we need to create our get repos method. It's going to be an asynchronous function. So every asynchronous function returns a promise and this promise is going to be carrying our arrays. And now it's time to use the function that we have created first and passing the user that's going to be given to our get repos method. And finally, we get that response and we parse it as JSON, returning it to the caller. Now in Node.js, there's the convention that inside the API folder right here, everything turns into an endpoint. So now we're hitting directly into the index and every function that is, uh, that is inside needs to export this async method, which in the first parameter gets a request and as the second parameter gets a response. And this is it. So now the first thing we want to do is to return a 400, which is a bad request in case there is no query, uh, there is no query string in the request. So here what's happening is that if there is no username in the query string, we're just going to, to send this JSON object, which is basically has one key called status and returning the 400 as the status code. So now we call our get repos method and we pass the username in the query string. It's time for us to prepare to the response. So the first thing we need to do is to add the cross origin headers so we can uh, receive requests from other domains. Uh, the cache control header as well. So the max age 86,400 is one day, which is the maximum. We're also passing stay while revalidate header. So when a new fetch is happening, our function returns the old response and we get zero downtime for it. And now that we have everything, we just need to sanitize the data the way we want it. Now let's go back to the top of the file and create the type. So we're going to have here the name, which is going to be a string, the description of the repository, the home page if it's set, the link of this repository on GitHub, and the number of stars. All right, we have this set. Now we come back here and we create a new a new variable which is going to be the, the response we're going to be sending. And now we just need to grab the data and start formatting it the way we want it to. Do. We're going to filter all the forks out. Of now we already have no forks. What we need to do is to map all that list of the remaining repositories and take out everything we want. So we want name, description, home page, the link and the stars. So we have name, description, and homepage. So as you can see, TypeScript saying we already have what we need, but we want to return now the list ordered by the number of stars. Now we just need to send it that data. So if you already have a now, a now account, you can link it. You're going to run now dev. It's not going to prompt me because I already set it up. And now we can come back to localhost 300 forward slash API, question mark, username, Ashla Fasina, and boom, it's there. Now to deploy it, we're just going to pass now double dash prod. And then you can see now the link's already copied to the clipboard. Paste it. Boom, there it is. Done. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, send a thumbs up my way. If you want to stay tuned for the next videos, please subscribe. If you have any feedback, I'll keep an eye on the comments or you can reach out to me on Twitter. If you have suggestions for the next video, I'm always keen to hear them and I'm going to do the best I can. See you next time. Bye.